I don't want to start the video off with too much talking, especially with on the road, but uh, I just wanted to give a quick update. So it is uh, the 20th of September, I'm still more than a month out from harvest. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight though is go look at a loadout auger. Um, I'll talk about it more if I end up getting it. Uh, we'll see. Um, am am driving about 90 minutes away from the farm to uh, to check it out. So so we'll see how it is. Um, but yeah, 10-inch uh, loadout auger with the intention of the property that's uh, quite a bit further away than the current uh, elevator. Um, just paying uh, for. Uh, semis to be able to haul it then to a different elevator um, and maybe um, pick up a few uh, uh, savings on cost and and see how it goes um, we got a <laughs> stand still on the road but uh, yeah we'll see how it looks um, it's supposed to be a 2017 uh, 41 footer PTO driven that's what I was looking for and yeah if I end up going with it I'll uh, have more more to this video if not I'll explain why I didn't so yeah we'll see how it goes well if you can see it behind me towing the auger back I'll do a little bit longer video uh, when I get home uh, so you don't have to just hear me talk and look at it but uh, yeah I ended up getting it it looks basically brand new so really happy so uh, yeah We'll talk about it in just a second. Well, just a couple days after uh, getting the wagon, or wow, getting the auger, <laughs> uh, the night that I got it, uh, it sure gets dark early here in Michigan, so uh, I didn't get a chance to do any videos of it, but uh, obviously got it back to the farm, and it's good to go. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. So this is uh, Mayrath. Uh, 10 inch by 40 foot auger. Uh, the gentleman said that he got it in 2017 um, and that it was always stored inside. And then when I got a chance to talk with him, he, he actually stopped farming in 2019. So uh, really only a couple seasons of use. And I'd say it looks pretty darn new to me. Um, I'm really happy. It was about the third of a price of what a new one would, would have been uh, from the dealership. So uh, not too bad. Uh, really what I'm hoping to accomplish is uh, the property that takes 60 minutes to get to the elevator and about 45, 50 minutes back, plus typically 30 minutes to unload or more. Um, uh, I'm going to use the big gravity wagons. So the four 650 bushel wagons and use those as really the tenders, unload into this, load off into some semis, and then have those um, take it to some other um, elevators. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. I was pretty happy, uh, kind of excited, hopefully, um, if anybody else has experiences the other way uh, with these type of uh, hoppers, but the gentleman had built this as just means to keep water out. I remember right. I don't know if he had it hinging or just sitting, but you know, to me, <laughs> it looks pretty darn new. Um, had some beans running at last, so yeah. But it's nice having the uh, built-on hopper. I think that will make it easier. Um, just, I'm figuring I, I, why well, I'd originally looked at a, uh, some swing away augers, but, um, thankfully to some advice that I received from others, uh, the price range that I was looking at for the swing aways weren't going to be, uh, they were going to be tired. Uh, you get what you pay for. So. Uh, no swing away, but I think just with the the length, it should be able to um, maneuver easy uh, just into, um, got to kind of move them out 
and then move them back in when the wagons, when I pull them forward, uh, just because the wagons don't maneuver well and I'll have them hooked two by two. So uh, it just makes it a little bit, a little bit more challenging. So uh, yeah, I think this should be well. I towed it uh, uh, over two hours, um, but yeah, everything, everything went well. And so I'm, I'm really happy for this. Uh, I run it with my dad's uh, 5410 loader tractor, just off a of 540 PTO. But I mean, the gentleman even, the manual's still in here. Um, let's see if I can work faster. <laughs> New manual still in there. Uh, yeah, for for the third for a third of the price that it would cost me new to get one of these. That's pretty darn happy, so. We'll see how it goes. Uh I've been in talks with some truckers. Um it is gonna be a little bit more different just because um I'm gonna have to try to set a time but then also see how many loads they can fit in and I may supplement a few with taking the big wagons to uh, the previous elevator, but uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully this could work and that, uh, um, yeah, that, that it will work. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but I was, uh, was pretty happy to find this in Michigan uh, for what the price that it was and the condition that it's in, so. Hopefully you'll see more videos of this this fall. But uh, right now the corn is drying down, partly due to it started its dry down process just uh, from the uh, weather that we had and the lack of rain. Um, but then, I mean, it is the 22nd of September, so it is gonna be naturally drying down anyways, but I don't intend to start until after uh, Halloween. I always start way too early and then just pay way more in drying fees than I need to. So yeah, uh, that's an update. Just a bit, uh, had the camera turned around. Uh, I've been out on a walk, but all I had today was a sweatshirt. So it's pretty warm in Michigan. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's a warm one, but uh, yeah, about a month in a couple weeks month and a week I would say and we'll see how it goes but hopefully some more videos of getting the equipment around and looking at one other potential change for the fall but I don't know we'll see price of corn is lower and just got to be smart with decisions so we'll see mm -hmm.